Impedance model, distance protection testing for Siemens 7SA522 relay. Let us test the Siemens distance relay 7SA522 model. The first step would be to verify the measurements and the sequence components. To verify the measurements, let's go to the home screen. Let me inject one amps in R phase alone. I am able to see the reading only in R phase only Y phase, only B phase, all three phases with balanced phase angle. And we're also able to see that there is no ground current since the values are balanced. Let me repeat the same for voltage. I am injecting in R phase. Wherever I see one, I read the voltage. Y phase. Wherever I see 2, I am able to read the voltage. B phase. Wherever I see 3, I am able to read the voltage. Now let me inject all the three phases with balanced phase angle. 765 kilovolts and 2 kiloamps, and the ground zero sequence voltage is also zero, confirming that the relay is reading perfect measurements. Let's move to the impedance mode. The first screen, pre-fault, is configured for 0 amps and 63.5 volts in all the phases. Before proceeding to the testing part, let us verify the relay settings and the calculations. The distance protection setting calculation for Siemens 7SA522 relay, the required data, data from 7SA522 relay, Power systems data 1 and 2 to calculate zero sequence and plus sequence. Let's navigate to the settings power system data 1, 203 parameter, the PT ratio, 765 kV, 205 parameter, the CT primary 2000 amps, 237, the zero sequence compensation configured as RE by RL and XE by XL. Now let's verify Group A settings and power system data 2, 1105, line angle 87 degree, 1110, line reactance 0 0.0753 ohms per kilometer, double one double one, the line length 252.7 kilometers, 1116, the positive sequence RE by RL, 7.53 1117 XE by XL 1.01 1303 Z1 15.23 ohms From this data we can test the distance protection relay other than this the required data from these values positive and zero sequence impedance is converted to rectangular form for further calculations Z1 and Z0 in terms of rectangular form. Phase distance protection. The total primary impedance Z primary into line length. So here we go, the values from the formula. The impedance values are converted to secondary by multiplying using CTR by PTR ratio. So we get the positive sequence and zero sequence impedance in secondary. The forward looking zones, zone one, 80% of the line length, the timing zero milliseconds, Similarly, zone 2, 120%, zone 3, 137%. The reverse looking zone is 20% of the line impedance. The values which we are going to use for the testing is highlighted here with respect to timing. Let's verify for ground distance. To derive the 25G ground distance settings, we need to identify the loop factor for which Kn is required and the same is calculated as shown. Kn factor in terms of rectangular Kp loop factor. So here we go, the KP loop factor is as follows. Using the KP loop factor, the zone values are calculated. The values which we will be using for testing is as follows, along with the respective timing. Now let's test the relay. Testing using secondary values without entering the ground compensation factor in the test kit. Summary of all the values for phase to phase, phase to ground, as per the previous calculations is tabulated here. 
The kit impedance should be in secondary, advanced settings. Secondary, ground compensation is not entered here. Now let's inject these values and verify the performance. Phase to phase 13 ohms and 87 degree. Let me run this. Let me run this. Let me run this. 13 ohms and 87 degree. The relay has tripped in zone 1. The timing should be 0 milliseconds, so it's 34 milliseconds. And fault locator is expected as 172 kilometers approximately. So let me check zone 2 by varying this to 20 ohms. We can either rotate or we can select and enter the values manually. 20 ohms, phase to phase. I am expecting 300 milliseconds. Zone two, with the fault location of 264.5 kilometers. Zone two has operated. Fault location is 264.4 and the operating time is 334 milliseconds. Let me reset the relay and repeat the same for zone three with 24 ohms. The fall location should be 318.6 kilometers. Zone 3 has operated 317.4 kilometers and the operating time is 835 milliseconds. Let's reset the relay and repeat the same for zone 4. Zone 4, I'm going to inject two ohms, but I need to change the phase angle. To change the phase angle, we can select the phase and instead of adding 180, we can just press this plus or minus symbol this will automatically add 180 to it. In the home screen, you can directly click on the plus or minus symbol. It will change the angle by adding 180 to it. Now this will be injected in the reverse direction. Let me run this. Minus 26.5 kilometers is expected and the operation should be in zone 4 with the timing of 1.5 seconds. So the timing is 1.54 seconds. Zone 4 has operated and the distance is minus 26.4 kilometers. Now let me repeat the test for ground distance. For ground distance, let me choose phase to ground. Zone 1, let me enter the value as 29 ohms and the angle as 87 degree. Zone 1 has operated. The operating time is 34 milliseconds and the distance is 190 kilometers. Zone 2, let me verify for 40 ohms. The expected fault location is 260.36. Zone 2 has operated. 262.4 kilometers and the operating time is 335 milliseconds. Zone 3 50 ohms Zone 3 has operated. The operating time is 834 milliseconds with a distance of 328.3 kilometers. For reverse zone I entered the value as 4 and plus or minus symbol for adding 180 degrees minus 26.03, the trip time is 1.5 seconds. Now we are going to verify the reach settings. To verify the reach settings, let's click on the fourth option. Zone one, phase to phase, the operating value should be 15.23. To verify that, let me check. Click on phase to phase. Let me start from 17 ohms and the angle should be 87 degree. Now by pressing this play button, now the relay is in reset condition. When I press this play button, the pre-fault value is injected. Now let me select the impedance so that it is in yellow color. Now by rotating the knob and pressing the knob, 
I am injecting the fault. We can see zone 2 has operated. Let me come closer. 16.8 zone 2 15.7 zone 2 15.5 zone 2 15.35 zone 2 So here we can see that 15.28 zone 1 has operated 29 30 zone 2 has operated so in this manner, we can do a perfect reach test and identify the boundary. Let me repeat this for zone two, zone three and zone four, and we can identify the boundaries. So let me repeat this for zone two. I can start from 23 or 24. My zone two value is 22.84. So let me start from 23 ohms and giving a fault. Zone 3 has operated. Let me come closer. Zone 3. Zone 2, it's 89. 22.9, 22.95. Zone 3, 22.94. Zone 2. So this is the boundary of zone 2. In this manner, the boundaries for zone 3 and zone 4 can also be verified. Now let's repeat the same thing for ground distance. I will test the boundary for ground distance for zone 1. Let me choose ground distance. Let me stop this. Open ground distance. The impedance is 31.05 with an angle of 79 degree. Let me change the angle. 79 degree and the impedance is 31.05. That's the boundary. So let me start from 32. pre fault is injected. Healthy voltage. Now let me reduce 32. Zone 2 is operating. 31.9. Zone 2. We can see 31.43, zone 2 is operated. 31.42, 31.39 is the operation point of zone 1. In this manner, all the zones can be verified for phase to phase and phase to ground values. Fault locator. Earlier already, we have verified for fault locator. With the conventional method of testing, fault locator is 80% of line impedance, 120% and any percentage as per your specification. So we have made a sample calculation, 80% of line impedance is 15.23 at 87 degree. Let me choose phase to phase, stop, phase to phase, 15.23, angle 87. For fault locator, we can use the third option. So the expected operation is 202.16. Let me play again, 15.23 ohms, 87 degree, relay has tripped in zone 1, and the fault locator is 201.5 kilometers. For 120%, 22.84 ohms, 87 degree, the fault locator should be approximately 302.2 kilometers. Zone 2, now let's verify at 137%, 26.08, Zone 3, 344.6 kilometers. Now let me do a reverse zone fault, which is at 20%, 3.808, and I press this plus or minus symbol, so that the angle change is for reverse zone. So reverse zone should operate, and the kilometer should be minus 50.4. So that's how we test the fault locator. There is one more option by which you can test the phase to ground and phase to phase, and that is by primary injection and by entering the compensation factor. Let's click on the Settings tab, click on the Advanced Settings, select the compensation factor as per the relay. So the compensation factor in the relay was already calculated. RE by RL and XE by XL. So RE by RL value is 7.53 and XE by XL value is 1.01. .01. Select the primary option and enter the value 765 kV and the CT primary is 2000 amps. When this is configured, we can directly test in terms of primary. Let me randomly do a short test and verify. 
in zone 1 50 ohms at an angle of 87 degree Zone 1 is operated, trip time is 34 milliseconds and the distance is 189.6 kilometers. Similarly for Zone 2, it's 75 ohms. 285 kilometers should be the fault location. We can see that we can directly enter the primary value and the ground compensation settings. Once the ground compensation settings are entered, the value should be the same for phase to ground and phase to phase In this manner, all the zones can be verified.